Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to create a folder inside ProjectWise. So here we're going to go ahead and log into our data source. We can double click on this data source for logged into connection client to log us in. However, I'm going to right click log in as and I want to show you that the authentication needs to be Bentley IMS. It should not be anything else. So we're going to click log in here. Once logged in, I'm going to go over to a folder so we can go ahead and create. So here I want to go ahead and show this is our document list. So we cannot create folders in there while this is our folder list, our data source list. See, if I right click in document list and go to new, there's no option for me to add a folder here. We do need to go to our folder list down here. So now we're going to go ahead and right click on this document and go up to new folder. In the name field, we can enter a name for this folder for up to 63 characters. In the description field, we have up to 127 characters. Here we're going to name it test folder and description test folder for video. Next, I want to show you, we did click right click down here, but we can change the parent of this folder. So instead of right clicking in the document list, we can select a different folder for that to go into. Environment, you only want to use Ohio DOT CAD since this is what our project is for. And next we want to go into storage, which there's only one option, so keep that. And you can change the owner, however, I don't see us using this ever. So go ahead and keep everything the same. So next we're going to go to the bottom right here and click add. You can also hit OK and it'll do the same thing. You saw that added to the document list and it has in the bottom left here, it selected. Now that I showed you how to create a folder inside ProjectWise, I want to show you how to use the drag functionality inside ProjectWise. Here I'm going to go ahead and navigate down to a folder structure um, and select the engineering data where I want to import some folders or slash files. Now I'm going to go over to File Explorer and have the item ready for me to click and drag into. So I can actually hold down on this folder and click and drag it into the document list since I want to add it to engineering data and it's already selected. Or I can do it by selecting one of the folders over here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this into the document list and I'm going to get a dialog. So I'm going to get rid of this file explorer window. And we have several options when importing into project wise. So our top option here is if, if, if the folder you are importing has subfolders, you want to retain the directory structure in ProjectWise, you want to turn on subdirectories. Now the next one is if the import files only is turned on, the files in the folder will be imported, but the containing folder will not be created. So to create a folder in ProjectWise, make sure the input files only is checked off. Now I do want to go ahead and tell you that if both of these are selected, so if we have input files only and include subdirectories and they're both checked on, ProjectWise will import the files from all of the subfolders, but none of the subfolders themselves will be created in ProjectWise. There's next we have the import and rename duplicates. So to rename duplicate files that they are found during the import, turn on the import and rename duplicates. Next we have the environment that we don't want to touch and the storage that we only have one storage so we don't need to worry about that. So now if I click OK, we can go ahead and see that it is adding those files in. Now remember I did have import files only and include subdirectories on, so that's why that did that. Just to show you here, again, I want to click and drag cell files into ProjectWise, get rid of our File Explorer dialog, and I'm going to select Include Subdirectories this time. Now remember, if the folder you're importing has subfolders, you want to retain the directory structure in ProjectWise, you select that on and it's going to do that. Now before we had both of these selected on and it just made the files, so if I click OK, it's going to add the Excel files folder with the documents under that. 